I think it's time to do some brushing up on some things. No, not that one. Since the day we made the decision and began telling our friends and family that we were moving to the Philippines, the most common question thrown at me was, what are you going to do while you're there? My first and easiest response was always, nothing, absolutely nothing. But as the time grew closer to moving to the Philippines, um, I began applying more thought to what had become a really nagging question for me. I mean, how crazy does it sound to retire to your chosen paradise and have to do anything that resembles work? It's been long known that uh, an early retirement is not all that healthy and that workers who retire earlier typically suffer higher mortality rates with having little to do or nothing to do to drive them. So in general, I guess the question for everyone is when you retire with nothing to do and especially to a country where you can have everybody do everything for you, will that drive you to an early grave? The answer to that question is a little worrisome for a lot of people. There are some very specific outcomes when you allow your mind and body to become idle. And just one of those outcomes might be just an abrupt ending to a sedentary lifestyle choice. The resulting conclusion then is that paradise can kill. Before we actually moved to the tropics, I uh, began thinking about my own longevity and I knew that I would need to occupy my retirement time with something productive to uh, fight off that ERS. I needed a bucket list of things that I enjoyed doing or things that could keep me busy in my retirement. There were at least some certainties. I loved being in tropical waters. I liked fishing, uh, swimming, snorkeling, diving. I also liked bike riding and playing racquetball. Golfing and sailing. Unfortunately, in Samar, in the Philippines where we chose to retire, there was no racquetball, there was no golf, and there definitely wasn't no sailing. So I had to supplement those lost activities with other things like working around the house and working on things and doing yard work and gardening. And I didn't accomplish much fishing either because the waters off the western coast of Samar are heavily fished and uh, the fish population is just not there. So, so that wasn't very rewarding. So all that was left to do was do some bike riding and some swimming. And trust me when I say that bike riding in the Philippines is not the healthiest of lifestyle choices. In the course of the first four years living in the Philippines, I became more physically inactive. I'm going to Manila. And I spent much more time at my desk blogging, which turned into the vlogging, which has now become an extremely sedentary hobby. On the body, anyway. By now, some of you viewers are probably wondering where I'm headed with all this. Since that time that we moved to the Philippines, we've been in Guam for the last four years, and I basically picked up where I left off when we left the mainland some nine years ago. I hit the gym, I play racquetball, I do a little golfing, I do some swimming, and I do some bike riding, uh, in addition to creating a lot of videos. Back in the day when I worked in real estate, I owned a sailboat and uh, it was a 128 footer and I sailed it mostly up on uh, actually exclusively up on Lake Pickwick in North Mississippi and the adjoining Tennessee River and so I basically sailed around Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama geographically speaking uh, those three states can join at a point over uh, the Tennessee River. I later sold that boat to expand uh, my real estate business into my own brokerage until I retired 12 years later. 
Here in Guam, I have just about everything I need to keep me physically active, but one of the things I still miss the most is sailing. I just look at the tranquil aqua and azure waters around uh, around the island and it just uh, forces me to watch more and more sailing videos. We live in a condo and inside these walls there is literally nothing that allows me to keep my hands busy. I sit at my desk, my mind is occupied, but my body uh, remains idle and that's not healthy. And since I have no home to repair, my hands have become more idle than they have ever been. I'm really having a hard time saying this, but what I really miss is sailing. I need another boat. I'm itching to be back at the helm and on the water again, and at a minimum, just having some boat projects to work on, it gives me something else to do. It's not just the challenge of ocean sailing that draws me in, it's all the tinkering with boat things that can help both keep my hands and my mind busy. So I have launched my own feasibility study on whether acquiring a, another sailboat is a good thing or a bad thing. For now I'm keeping my eyes and my options wide open. I've already got a lead on a boat for sale at the Agate Marina here in Guam and I'm just waiting for the owner to get back to me when he will be available to meet me and open up the boat for viewing. I'm hoping this is just the beginning of a new adventure, but don't worry, this channel isn't going anywhere anytime soon, but I will keep you all posted. Who knows, I might just find a good deal. And then I could start another YouTube channel, a sailing channel, and I can join the other 800 sailing YouTubers and really get lost.